Welcome, sixth graders. Our topic for today is Patterns of Multiplying and Dividing by 10, 100, and 1000. Take a look at this example. 4 times 8 is equal to 32. 40 times 8 is equal to 320. 400 times 8 is equal to 3,200. What pattern can you see? Well, a good understanding of place value and the skill of noticing and using patterns can help you find mental methods of calculating quickly. Today, we're looking at multiplying and dividing by 10, 100, 1000. Let's look at these patterns. There are two methods that can be used when multiplying by 10, 100, or 1000. The counting zeros method or the method of moving the decimal. Let's begin with the counting zeros method. Take this example. 19 times 100. To find the product, we multiply 19 times 1. That's going to give us 19. Then we look at the number 100. How many zeros do you see in that number? Yes, there are two zeros in that number. So we add two zeros behind our 19 and that gives us a whole new number, 1,900. That means then that 19 times 100 is equal to 1,900. Let's look now at moving the decimal method. 26 times 1,000 is our example. We begin by looking at our first factor, which is 26. We write that down. Next, it's time to move the decimal point. But where is the decimal point in this number? Well, because this number is a whole number, the decimal point is found at the back of our number. Once we identify our decimal point, we now need to move the decimal. But how many spaces do we move it? That's where our 1000 comes in. Looking at the zeros in the number 1000, how many zeros are there? There are three zeros, so that means that we move our decimal point three spaces. But be careful here because we're moving the decimal point three spaces to the right. That's one, two, three spaces. So our decimal point moves here. Now, in our empty spaces, we place a zero. One, two, three. That changes our number now. And so, 26 times 1,000 is equal to 26,000. Remember, multiplying by 10, 100, or 1,000, we move the decimal point to the right. Let's look at some of these examples. See if you can use the previous method of multiplying by 10, 100, and 1,000. Remember, count the zeros or move the decimal point to the right. Pause the video so that you can complete this activity. Once you are finished, Press play and I'll reveal the answers.
Dividing by 10, 100, or 1,000. When you divide, you may get a decimal answer. The method here is to move the decimal to the left. Let's look at example 1. 1,900 divided by 10. We begin by writing down our dividend, 1,900. Now, we look at our divisor. How many zeros do you see in the number 10? One zero. So that means we're moving our decimal point one space to the left. As we know, because this is a whole number, the decimal point is at the back of the number. If we move it one space to the left, it's now relocated and it changes our number completely. That means that 1,900 divided by 10 is equal to 190. Let's look at example 2. 126 divided by 1,000. Again, we begin by writing down our dividend. Next, we look at the divisor 1,000. How many zeros do you see? There are three zeros in the number 1,000. That means that we're moving our decimal point three spaces to the left. First, we find our decimal point. And now, we move it three spaces to the left. One, two, three. Our decimal point should now be here. That changes our number completely. That means that 126 divided by 1,000 is equal to zero and 126 thousandths. Let's take a look at this table. See if you can use the previous method to divide by 10, 100, and 1,000. Remember, when dividing by 10, 100, or 1,000, move the decimal point to the left. Pause the video, and once you're finished, Press play and I'll reveal the answers. Hope you got everything correct. But let's look at this. If 19 times 8 is equal to 152, then what is 190 times 8? What pattern can you see? Do you have the answer? Yes, the answer is 1,520. 19 times 8 is 152, and there is one zero. So we add on one zero to our answer. That gives us a new answer of 1,520. Let's look at another one. If 18 divided by 2 is equal to 9, then what is 18,000 divided by 2? Can you see the pattern? I do. Yes, our answer is 9,000. 18 divided by 2 is equal to 9, and there are three zeros in 18,000, which gives us 9,000. Remember, boys and girls, Patterns can be used to make mental calculations more efficient. When multiplying by 10, 100, or 1,000, you can count the zeros or move the decimal point to the right. When dividing by 10, 100, or 1,000, move the decimal point to the left. This lesson was created by Miss Antonia Bain.